Hello everyone. I've got to grab a brush, so I'll be back in a second. There we go. So I've just sort of pop on because a couple of years ago, Zoe and I actually painted this um, office chair. I think we've got a little bit of stick for it actually. Um, but we painted it in Ingle Nook and that was over two years ago now. So um, it was used in our workshop. Um, so I've got paint spills on it. It's been stained with, I wouldn't even like to say what it is, I don't know. But anyway, it hasn't been looked after and now it's back in um, the actual shop so people can see it. And it's behind my desk. It doesn't go with the walls. The walls are a nice deep dark grey. So I thought I'm going to paint it blue. So I've just finished now. I've got some Fusion TSP. I can't see any comments actually. I can see you there. Anyway, so I've just washed it with TSP. I've put some a capful of that. <clears throat> so it needs two capfuls in a litre of water. So I've just put one cap in that little bottle. Um, I've squirted it all over and I've washed it down, still a bit damp, and cleaned it as much as I can be bothered. And I'm going to paint it. I'm going to show you how easy it is to paint leather with Fusion Midnight. So I'm using the Midnight Blue because it's my most favourite colour at the moment. And it'll go really, really well with the, the walls inside the shop. I'm just going to show you how easy. So you literally are just going to paint this stuff on. Hello, Karen. <clears throat> Um, we did two coats. I think actually we used a grey as a base coat um, first. So we put one coat of grey on and then we used the ingle neck and I think it just took the one coat. It's just started to crack a little tiny bit in this corner. You, I don't think you can see it up there, but it's just tiny, tiny little hairline cracks. Um, but for two years, and it really wasn't looked after, it was chucked in my workshop. It's literally got I'll show you around the back. And if you can see those splatters of paint. So it hasn't been looked after. So now I'm going to paint it midnight. And I think I might even pick up these studs or because our logo's changed. Hi Shelley. Um, the logo has changed from green to navy blue and pink. So I might even pink do the pink buttons pink. I don't know, maybe. Probably not, can't be bothered with that, but we're, we're just gonna I'm using a Star Meister around brush. This is a big one, what one's this one? I think it's the 20 or 22. I've worn off the thing. So I'm just going to literally paint it on. So there's no watering down to be done. I'm gonna need two coats of this probably. And I'm gonna have a nice look at me, I've flicked it everywhere already. And I'm gonna have a hi Shelley. And I'm going to have a nice navy blue office chair it looks a bit odd at the moment it doesn't go with the decor inside the shop so I have been meaning to do it I'll just keep it's always busy and I thought wouldn't that be great to show you all how easy it is to paint leather and so after this coat has dried um you're just going to give it another coat and leave it to dry it doesn't feel sticky it doesn't come off on your clothes because once it's dry um, it's waterproof it's already got the tough coat i um, sorry it's already got a top coat built in hi Tracy it's already got a top coat built in to fusion so there's no so there's no watering down there's no you know some paints you've got to do five layers and water them down Karen, hi Sarah, looking forward to getting home with my little whale and chapness. God, you're on the ball, you've only just left the shop. She'll be painting away, can't wait to see what you do with it. Um, yeah, so after this first coat goes on, you can see there's not much um, skill involved in this, it's just, you're just painting it on. And it's so odd, because I don't know if you can see, but when it's painted, I've actually got a blog post about this, about painting leather, I did another armchair. It looks like, because the paint's so thin, it looks like it's dyed the leather. It doesn't look like there's paint on top of leather, if you see what I mean. Hi Kim. Um, 
it almost looks like the leather's been dyed, which I suppose in theory it has. But it's nice and soft and supple and it doesn't go hard and crunchy like you imagine. I was just wondering if I could paint the leather on my upholstered headboard. There you go. Pretty much the same principle as this. So I'm flicking it everywhere, look, making the right mess. It's hard to reach all the way back there. You can see though. Hi, Alex. Yep, so what do you think? I think it's going to look swanky. I did actually another live at my house. I, I, I've got a faux leather chair in my office at home and I painted it gold, bright gold. It looks absolutely, um, what's the word? Outrageous, really. But I just wanted to show you that you could use the metallics the same way. And you can't rule the world in a boring chair, can you? So there you go. So I painted my office chair at home, Fusion Metallic Gold. And this one is already painted in Ingle Nook. This is two years old now. I'm just showing you how the leather is still pliable. It doesn't feel cracky or thick. It doesn't actually feel like it's been painted, to be fair. It feels like, um, just feels like leather. Maybe a pleather, but it doesn't feel hard, is what I'm trying to say. So I think it'll probably take two coats of this just to get me full coverage. But you can see that there's no, no skills involved. So the next time you see that, that lovely old armchair or maybe one of those old Chesterfields in a shop and you think, God, if only that was black or if only if it was grey, there you go pot of paint and your and your um what about painting a faux leather sofa that started to peel right so obviously with all painting you would have to make sure that the substrate you're painting on is sound because the paint's not gonna make the substrate stick to itself if you know you're gonna have to have a flake free surface so maybe you would I mean, you'd have to assess that yourself and see whether or not, um, you know, take the stuff that's peeling off. It has to be a sound surface that you're working on. But I should imagine if it wasn't a deep um, peel, you know, if the peeling's not very deep, then maybe you wouldn't notice it if you could paint over it. But that would be up to you. Which brush are you using? So I'm using a Stylemeister. I think this is an, a round one. Um, and I think it's a 22. It's a big one. So let's get some of this on. I think the last time I did it, I did in between the creases, but the folds stay quite stiff. So it does work better if you're gonna do a sofa or a puffet or a chair. It does work better if the leather's stiff. I have done, I have done a softer, um, looser covered um, leather armchair before. In fact, that's on the blog. Um, and it worked out fine, but the round the edges, we had to wait down this edge to get the paint into there because of course when you sit on it, you can see it. And so then we had to really keep that weighted down let for that to dry and then do the inside and let that dry before it touched each other, if you see what I mean. But it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't really that much of a hoo-ha. It was easy enough. Yeah, so the next time you're at the second hand shop and you see a gorgeous chair, no excuses anymore. Hi, Carrie. No excuses anymore. Come and grab yourself a pot of paint. Um, and I know with I know you can do this sort of thing with um, chalk paints, but of course that needs watering down. You need multiple layers, and then you need to seal it so that it doesn't come off on your clothes. Um, and of course, if you're using wax, I mean it doesn't. It, you know, to work that out, it's it's not that difficult. That if wax gets warm, it melts. So you're all right as long as you're not. As long as your butt's not warm, I suppose. So this is much easier where that's concerned. There's no top coat required. And two coats will do it. No watering down, just straight on. Yeah. Well, you can see there wasn't, um, 
There's definitely nothing to be afraid of. It's looking pretty lush. Look at that. That's quite nice. So I'm definitely going to need two coats just because I can still see through the paint. I'm going to need two coats of this. But I mean, that's not a problem. I mean, how long has that taken me? A couple of minutes to paint almost half a chair? Oh, I'll give myself pins and needles. I've sat on the floor. Can I buy this paint from you? Yes, you can. I've got an online shop, so if you're not loco, you can buy it on homerevivalinteriors.co.uk forward slash shop. Um, and we deliver. So if you if you deliver before the working day's over, it gets to you the next day. So we've got great postage service too. And over 50 amazing, gorgeous colours to choose from. So yeah, we also sell the brushes. They're online in the shop too. Or in the shop if you're loco. Hi Karen, hi Lucy. Oh, Lucy, that was you, sorry. Yeah, so, I mean, it couldn't be simpler. So I think you should all run out get to the second hand shops, find yourself a beautiful Chesterfield armchair and paint it to fit your interiors. Because as you can see, it's not difficult to do at all. And so when that's dry, the next coat will do full coverage. Where in South Africa can I get this? Do you know what? So what you'd have to do is go to fusionmineralpaint.com where to buy and in there, they'll give you a list of, you can click your country and they'll give you a list of um, retailers near you. Hi, Wendy. Yep, so you can be able to find that on, on the fusionmineralpaint.com's website, where your local or nearest, let me turn that down, where your local um, retailer is. And if not, if you're in the UK, you can grab it from me and that's at homerevivalinteriors.co.uk. Hello, Wendy. You're just by us. Um, yeah. So you can see how easy it is. Get yourself out and grab yourself an old armchair and have a bit of fun. Maybe you always wanted a pop of colour but didn't want to pay the silly money that you have to pay for a, a bespoke armchair. Hi, Priscilla. It's great, isn't it? See, it's so easy to do. And remembering, I'm painting over the top of Fusion here. This was painted in Inglenook about two years ago. Well, if you'd add a Minevit, it, my battery's running low, so I'm gonna have to go soon, which is great. I was gonna wait and show you the whole thing, but never mind. Um, so if you know anybody who you think might be interested in this video, I would love it if you would give me a share. That would be amazing. If you know anybody who's got an old armchair that needs a spruce up or this will work on your shoes, on your handbags, on um, anything leather, your boots. Kate, so Colour Me Kate, she's a, another dish, um, stockist in the UK. She just painted her husband's boots. They look cool. Jen Bonnet, upcycling ideas for you. Thank you. Have you ever painted one and sold it? Yes, we have. And I've painted um, one for a client at a client's house. There is a blog post on it on my website. And I think it's called Painting, Fu Painting Leather with Fusion Mineral Paint. I think that's what the blog post is called. But I know if you Google search that, you can find it. Um, and that looked amazing. That was done in a really, really light grey. It went from horrible brown to a light grey. It looked beautiful. So that's worth taking a look at. And I think I explained all everything in there. And there's some close-ups of it to show you what it looks like to just to show you that it looks like the leather's been dyed and not painted. Yeah, so but this one is only for my office. It's not only for my office, it's for my office in the shop and people can see it. It looks a bit grubby. Hi Karen, I'm gonna have to go soon because my um, battery's just told me that I'm low. But I'm just gonna stick a little bit on this chair first, on the chair seat. Look at the coverage on that. The chair would go nice in my bedroom, lol. Are you going to put some wax on it after to soften it? No, I have, um, I've done, do you know what? We even did um, the interiors of a Mercedes Benz, a soft top. 
So the, the interior was a banana yellow, it's ortho. And we painted it black and it looked amazing. That's on the blog too. So no, all the, all the leather that I've painted so far, I've never had to apply wax. It's always been soft and supple. I know a few people have applied it, works fine. I don't fancy wax on my butt, to be fair, but I know it works. So, but it can be applied if it does go hard and crunchy. Mine never have. So, I'm gonna turn this there, aren't I? Oh, I have a Mercedes. <laughs> well, there you go, Lucy. So when you're fed up with the color, grab your fusion mineral paint. And we know the guy, so about, I think it was like seven or eight months later, we spoke to him and he said it's still in perfect nick. So we told him at the time it's not designed for that. We can't promise that it will last. He said that's fine. And he was over the moon with it. It did look really cool, actually. It didn't look like we painted it. It just looked like it had always been that color. Um, can you paint fabric too? Yes, you can. I haven't. Um, just because we've got an upholster on site, so I've never painted fabric, but I know you can, and you could see examples of that on Painted Beautiful. <clears throat> so there, for people who are wondering if it works, it works amazingly. And there's no, no need to add anything else. You can, but you don't have to, I agree. I've never painted fabric, but was thinking I wouldn't want wax on my butt either. No, not really. We all know what happens to wax when it gets warm. I don't know why we've decided to ignore that fact. It gets, it melts once it gets warm. So never really been for me. And I always find fabric looks like it's been painted. Whereas I was gonna, I was tried this to see whether that was what would happen and it didn't. It looked like the, the leather had always been this color. So, so I thought this was great. So that's it, I'm gonna have to go because my battery really is gonna die and then that would be awful. So if you want paint and you're in the UK, go to Fusion Mineral, and no you don't, go to homerevivalinteriors.co.uk. We sell the full range on there and our delivery service is amazing. And you can always get hold of me if you need any advice. And if you want to see some more leather painted pieces with Fusion Mineral paint, I've got two blog posts on my blog on homerevivalinteriors.co.uk. Um, one of them was painting the interiors of a leather car and one of them was painting an, an armchair for an, an interior design project. So really really lovely to see you all um hopefully i'll see you all soon bye i can turn it off there you go